When Matt and Jackie McGinley moved into their Vestal, New York home in 2019, they paid little attention to the giant tree towering over their driveway. And we had a whole punch list of things that needed to get repaired, things that we wanted to update or remodel. And frankly, the tree was just kind of in the background. But someone else did take notice. Rockefeller Center's head gardener, Eric Pauze. In pulls a car, a uh, guy gets out. My name is Eric. I'm the head gardener from Rockefeller Center. I'm here to look at your tree. <laughs> and I was like, no. <laughs> Do you like understand how crazy you sound right now. They couldn't have known Pase is a Rockefeller Christmas tree legend, having personally discovered each tree for the last 30 years. I Googled him and realized, and I quickly texted him out, this is legitimate. We thought they were dating a lot of other trees, that maybe ours would be considered. And then as the date got closer and closer, we realized that, in fact, we probably did have the Rockefeller Center tree. The McGinleys knew they wanted to be part of this special tradition. Donating the tree, they hope it brings joy during a busy and sometimes emotional season. This is not about us, but it's about being of service to other people, giving them that chance to go and make memories by the tree. And for those like us who've had loss, to go back to that space and remember the people that they love, Ginley's will be remembering Matt's mother, who passed away four years ago. I think she would think it was the coolest thing. Like I keep having this feeling of like, who am I not telling about this? There's somebody that, that I should be, that I feel like I ought to tell, and it's her, you know. Um, I was able to reach out to her best friend, and that person will be with us on the day of the cutting. The McGinley's two kids will be at the tree cutting, too. Zoe, age 12, and Charlie, age 9, admit the hardest part of the whole process was keeping their tree's star status hidden until the official reveal. I'm really bad at secrets, but I've been able to keep this one. The tree stands 80 feet tall. It will arrive in this very spot this weekend with a full police escort, and it will become a part of New York history with 50,000 LED lights making it shine bright as a symbol of the holiday season. Three, two, one! Yeah! The deeply rooted tradition of the Rockefeller tree goes all the way back to 1931, when a Christmas tree was put up by the construction workers building Rock Center. Today, more than 100 million people visit the plaza each year to see the world famous tree. McGinley's say they're proud that tree from their own yard is playing a special role. Matt's mom used to always emphasize joy, and so that idea of joy in that space is really exciting. I think it's fair to say the McGinley's tree is definitely going to bring joy to people from all around the world. As we mentioned, it's set to arrive here tomorrow morning. Then the decorating begins. That means covering it with that Swarovski star with oh, three yes. million crystals on it. And, of course, the big lighting the week after Thanksgiving. So it's going to come right down 49th, come right? right down here and be right behind us where we are now. Off the yeah, holiday season. Joe, the incredible thing is you mentioned it. These families donate the tree. You don't get a briefcase full of money. No, you it's, give this no, to Rockefeller it's, Center. And it's truly a gift. And for them, you can see how much meaning this yeah. gift yeah. has, which is incredible. We thank them, so for, cool. their, yeah. we thank them for their gift. And of course, yeah. as Joe mentioned, you can catch that tree lighting right here on NBC during the Christmas and Rockefeller Center special. That's Wednesday, November 29th. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.